The marine organism we're going to identify now is the graze bee. The easiest way to identify a graze bee is to look at the base of its dorsal fin. Adults have three to five dark spots along the base of the dorsal fin. This is the most distinguishing feature that separates the graze bee from other similarly shaped, sized, and colored fish, such as the coney, the red hind, and the rock hind. In addition, their tails are generally more rounded than the other similar species. The coloration of the graze bee can vary from light reddish brown to gray, but they always are covered with irregularly shaped small spots. They can also lighten and darken their colors to better blend into their surroundings. Graze bees are quite common on the Caribbean, Bahamian, and Florida reefs. During the day, they can often be found resting on the bottom under a coral ledge or in between two coral heads. They use their pectoral fins to help maintain a vertical attitude while resting on the bottom. They can be quite curious and are often unintimidated by divers. Since they can be found on reefs as shallow as 10 feet, as well as reefs as deep as 60 feet, both snorkelers and divers should be able to observe these fish. They are most commonly seen in the size range of 6 to 10 inches, but a maximum size of 12 inches has been reported. Graysbees feed mostly on small fishes and crustaceans. They reportedly have a special fondness for brown chromuses. They are nocturnal predators and spend most of the day just hanging out on the reef, under a ledge, or are resting on a coral head. As with all sea basses, the graze bee is a protogenous hermaphrodite. This means that all fish start out life as females and turn into males as they mature and reach a size of about eight or nine inches in length. During spawning, males will gather a harem of females and spawn with several from the harem every day during the breeding season. Eggs are fertilized externally and allowed to drift with the currents until they hatch. That's the graze bee.